On Apollo 13, uh, we had we had an incident. Oxygen tank two uh, had electric short uh, when the uh, cryos were stirred, which is a running a little egg beater that stirs up the liquid, which tends to stratify in the liquid oxygen hydrogen tanks, primarily to get good, good quantity readings. Sir Dan, we've got one more item for you when you get a chance. So we'd like it to uh, stir up your cryo tank. Uh, when that was exercised, we suffered an electric short in the tank, which caused an explosion, Expan expansion of gases to blow the tank apart. Following that, uh, Jim Lovell and I had actually left Jack alone after a point. Jack Swigert uh, was the other crewman, and, and Jim Lovell and I left to go power up the limb when we knew it was a lost cause. And uh, we did get uh, very quickly uh, through a activation procedure. We had we at least a book to start from, which was the limb lunar module power up, but we had that cut out a lot of stuff to hasten the time to get it up and deleted sections of the book as we went through it. We were sitting there and I just noticed at one point of Mashola, Jack Swigert had arrived. He had, by that time he had shut off his, his machine because he was the command module pilot. And uh, the, the lunar module is quite a different uh, craft. The command module is built like a battleship to survive the rigor of, in, of launches and entries. Uh, the lunar module is protected during that period and it's built to operate in vacuum of space, no air, and so it's quite delicate. Uh, a lot of things done to make it light, super lightweight, and it made different noises. Uh, you could hear uh, the pump, pumps, glycol pumps, and they had gurgling sounds, and the cabin fan running, those sorts of things. And Jack queried as, uh, just uh, look, looked at him, he, because he had never been in a lunar module before in his life. He was the uh, command module expert, he had lived in the development before he became an uh, astronaut with uh, North American Aviation as a test pilot in the development of that vehicle. And he just casually said, uh, do you think this thing will make it? Because he worried about all the strange, the way it sounded and the strange sounds, and I, I just told Jack, I said, well, all that gurgling and stuff you hear, uh, only worry if you stop hearing it. 